Yeah, hey, what's up, everybody? Your boy JC is in the building with my boy uh, Terrence. How y'all doing? What's going on, everybody? Everybody gather around. Your boy JC and Terrence is in the building today. Get this real knowledge today, y'all. And tonight's topic is do lux matter in the dating game? Now, when I was posed with this question, do looks matter in the dating game? Guys, let me tell you, looks do not matter. Now, Terrence, I know you're thinking like, I know y'all, a lot of y'all are thinking like, Terrence, what do you mean looks don't matter? Looks don't matter. Most people pick people off the care. Most people pick off of attraction, but there's things that you can do for people to be attracted to you. And by being attracted to you, I mean whether whether it's financially attractive, whether it's physical attraction, whether it's spiritual attraction, you can find something for somebody to be attracted to you. Use the law of attraction to get what you want. Most guys mess up by first approaching a female. Now, I'm not saying sit back and wait for a female to talk to you. But what I'm saying is know what you're getting yourself into. You can't you can't approach a woman and you have resentment in your heart already. You have jealousy in your heart already. You have a different plan than what you're going in with. How you doing? What else? With, with executing your, when executing your game, it can't be a game. And, and when I say executing your game, most guys get focused on one woman and I'm not saying that's a bad thing but they focus their focus is on this one woman like there's no other woman in the world <laughs> that's their focus whether it's to fuck her whether it's to date her whether it's to marry her the focus the focus they focus on one thing and one thing only and that's where they're flawed at you need to find out about the individual you're trying to date or the individual you're trying to talk to and now you have you have points in time where you see somebody on the train and you're like, mm, she looks good. I should say something. But if you wait 30 seconds or a minute, that person's gone. Hesitation cost you your future wife, your future girlfriend, your future love. Do not hesitate. Do not say the first thing that comes to your mind. Do not. You said, where are these unicorn men you speak of? Uh Unicorn men, they look. So when I, I, mean, I they, I mean, they exist. It's just the fact that a lot of brothers, you know, they don't have the confidence. They don't have the. They don't have the mind state. Mindset. They don't have the confidence. And a lot of times they shy and insecure. And a lot of times they don't put themselves out there. And enough. that's another thing. You can't approach a woman with insecurities in your heart. You know. You can't. You can't approach her like that. You have. To, you have to approach on a level where. It's so charismatic to where she, she doesn't think that you just want one thing, which is mostly sex. Most guys want, or sometimes it's money. But you have to approach them in a way that attracts them to you, whether it's your, your aura, aura of mystery, whether it's your aura of confidence, whether it's your aura of charismatic. Ism, like myself, I'm a very charismatic person. I'll say something, and I'll think it's funny, whether you think it's funny or not, because I don't care if you think it's funny. And that's what's attractive about me to most women. They're like, oh, you're so charismatic. Well, I believe that we're energy, and we live on forever, and it's going to go somewhere. But anyway, enough about that. Most guys mess up. You say looks matter. I, I, sister, look, look, looks don't matter. I mean, looks I, are subjective. I like, mean, what I, I mean, made you find that beautiful, you may not like it. You know what I mean? I, I, I know. How how would I say this? I, I seen the bomb. I seen a bomb ugly guy with a fine woman. So I see it all the time, actually. But these men are confident in their sales, to where they can approach this woman, and their their mind state is on the same level. And that woman was attracting about about something about them, whether that man was mysterious, whether that man was confident, whether that man was yeah, charisma. Charisma, charisma, whatever about him, he let that stick out for him. Mm -hmm. He used that to get what he wanted. And the thing about it, a lot of guys, they want to complain about, you know, well, I'm not, hot, not tall enough, I'm making enough money. 
But you gotta have you gotta just care within yourself to know, okay. She gotta, she gotta know that a God is approaching her. Yeah. Not a little boy. She gotta know that a God is approaching her. When you let her know that a God is approaching her and you're approaching her with the right pretenses in mind, and you go with the right game, and when I say the right game, I mean you don't approach with unnecessary BS. Yeah, like, hey mom. Hey no mom, baby. what's up? Let me let me, let me let me get that number real quick though, mom. Come holler at your boy. You know, you want to be respectful, you want to... Uh, Un unless... That's not going to work unless you're one of them real super good looking people. That game don't work for most of us. She want to be courteous though. Well, a woman. And we're talking about women now. We're not talking about your racks. It's the difference between racks and women. Let, let, let's clear that Let's clear that out the air, first of all. You got to know what you're approaching. If you're approaching a woman, she's going to react like a woman, first of all. And you're approaching a rat, she's going to act like a rat. It's, it's a difference. And y'all know it's a difference between rats. We don't, I don't have to explain that. Y'all know the difference. She said, I don't care what gang you have. If you're ugly to me, it's a no. But looks are, like I said, looks are objective, though. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that you've been with a guy who you think, you know, doesn't really, he don't really look that good, but he does have charisma. He does have, you know, he's sure of himself, and you do give, you gave him a chance, you know, so. You know, you said all the time with um, ugly brothers, with see ugly brothers with fine looking women, so, you know, it matters. And that's, that's, so. their, that's their mind states. And I believe, in my opinion, most women are attracted to intelligence. So that's what I present and I bring to the table. I bring a oasis of knowledge and they drink from it. So that's my thing. I, I, I don't necessarily have any standard game. I present my knowledge and my intelligence, and usually they're attracted to my knowledge and intelligence. And I don't want to, I attract things that I like. I like intelligent women. I don't like dumb women. So if I don't, I'm. Black, black women only. Black, black women. First of all, black women. First of all, I only date black. Because I'm trying to preserve my race, trying to preserve the black community, trying to preserve black wealth. Period. Exactly, you know. Like I said, you gotta have that approach. You gotta have that kind of confidence, that kind of um, standard that you know that you are good enough. And uh, Truth. don't really be too much in your head, and uh, you know, go at that approach. You gotta get rid of all insecurities and resentment. You got to get rid of insecurities. If you're an insecure man, you most likely ain't gonna get the woman that you desire. If you are an insecure man, you're not gonna get the woman that you desire. Women have what's called intuition, and they can read into that. Where most boys fuck up at. They approach women with the wrong intentions. And that's the thing. And the too. wrong game. A lot and the wrong women, energy. A lot of women they attract to more than just physical. They know, like they attract to the mind. They attract to the mind, of course. It's like um, something just said a minute ago. It's your presentation. Your presentation yes. doesn't have to yeah. nothing to do with this. You know, I can I can look like I can have a bum. I can have a bum haircut. Bum ass haircut. Some dirty clothes on. And I can I believe I have enough confidence. I can talk to any woman I desire, and she's gonna give me the time of day. Exactly. Because of what I present to her. I'm going to present her with a man, not a boy. That's what I'm saying. The man going to be confident within himself. He ain't exactly. Gonna see the hell out of the doubts and words. You're like, okay, I'm going to go and approach you. Either you're going to say yes or no. I'm also going to let her know what else I can give her besides sex. I'm going to let you know what else I can do for you besides sex. It's a, it's a lot like we can you, do you cook, besides sex. You, you, are, you, know, you know how to cook. You're professional. I'm a chef, but I, I can also... I can also enlighten you on certain stuff. Yeah, like I said, y'all want to kind of cater and, you know, holler at Terrence right here. I do, I do that. You know. Deja food. Well, yeah, we're going to do some shout outs. What's going on, Amy, Mary, uh, Lakeisha, Miss Austin, uh, Quay, uh, Rhonda, Samantha, Kristen, Miss Covington, uh, Christy, Charlene, Corey. Um, Ashley, what's going on, everybody? Ms. Watts, Ralph, what's going on, everybody? But yeah, though, the question is, do looks matter? I mean, to I don't, I don't, again, I don't think they matter. Now, Maybe for, like, for, 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 the, for the guy, for the guys that have those looks, and when I was younger, I'm going to tell you all a story about me. When I was younger, I used to hear a lot of my friends talk about, oh, this girl approached me and she gave me her number. I'm like, wow. It was just that easy, and I, did, I, I didn't really no, but, believe them. No, but appearance uh, matters. Like how you keep yourself up, making sure you're well groomed, making sure truth. You know, 
Smell like you got some good cologne on and stuff. Truth. Like, that's really what a lot of women, you know, desire, you know? That kind of confidence. What too. you said, Miss Knight. What you said, confidence. You can have the ugly, you can see yourself, you know, be ugly on the outside, but inside you're confident and, uh, you looking good. And see, and that's what I found out about those dudes that were getting those girls' number. They wasn't necessarily that attractive. They were confident. They felt like they looked good. They felt like they looked good. You heard what I'm saying? If you feel like you look good, can't nobody tell you otherwise. If you think, if you know, if you feel that you look good, nobody can tell you otherwise. So I had to look within myself and to ask myself, how do I feel about me? Once I had the confidence about myself, the women came with it. Period. All right, Emmy said, I would like an attractive guy. I'm looking good at hygiene. When I see an attractive guy, Shay, that's no lie, but I can do without it. I'd rather have a smart, wise man that treats me with respect. Me and my children good. That is what really matters to me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, that's the thing, too. A lot of well, that's a, that's a lot of things. That's a lot of that, that, that we that we we usually talking about. That's what I was saying. Too. They pick them based off looks, not based off character. You can't tell nobody's character based off their looks. Yeah, you gotta look at his character, his morals. You know what he stand for. Cause he can be a good looking dude with double rocks. But 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 you treat know. you like a dog. You know? And and if and let me say this today, ladies. You just because you sex is not a bun. Sex is not a bun. You can be fucked and forgotten. Excuse my language, but you can be. And you can be forgotten. Sex is not a bond. Sex doesn't bond anything. Sex is exactly what it is. Sex. All right, hold on. Um, Lakeisha said, looks matter, but being confident is everything. You have to walk in the top like you have three thousands. Or your necessary Facts. Your back. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's, that's how I walk. That's how I walk. Whether, whether, Jenna could tell y'all, I just now got my hair cut. Bushy as heck. I don't care. I had the confidence that go with it. I'm confident then, I was confident then, I'm confident well, now. Well, the thing about it, about confidence is you got to be confident with or without situation, without the car, without the job. You without the job, confident. without the, yeah. And that's all materialistic stuff. That ain't yeah. like who you are as a man, though. Your core, you know. Exactly. That's just what you do. And, uh, you know, you can't really look at a person that they work. You know, they look, they look good on the outside, but you always got to analyze where his mindset is, you know. Truth, 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 truth. And and I, be, I also believe, though, that along with that confidence, fellas, ladies, I'm gonna say this. Ladies, even when y'all get us, you gotta remain chaseable. You got to remain chaseable. Don't get confident and settled in your relationship. Remain chaseable. Remain that person that he was trying to chase. That's the reason why y'all you lose half these men out here. And men, the reason you losing half these women out here, stay mysterious. Stay mysterious. And when I say mysterious, I don't mean disappearing 3 o'clock in the morning and then coming back smelling like a skunk. All right, Keep that on. same mysterious air you had when, before you got her. Okay, read Queen's comment. Be furry, be dusty, change that tire. You pull out a package of baby wipes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Meek said, Women deal with those type of men because they're attracted to the looks. The company men are usually the ones who know their look good, bro. Yeah. Facts, facts. You know, like I said, your man sitting there in the mirror longer than you do, then that's an issue right there. Facts. You got to question the man's sexuality, you know. Well, well, I, I'm on the fence about that. You got, you got this new thing that people call metrosexual. Me. I believe in just getting my hair cut, taking a shower, and shaving this Shaving this sometimes. I'm not all into that, getting my eyebrows arch waxed, waxing all of this, and I'm, 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 I'm not that guy. I'm old school. I raised by my granddaddy, so. Okay, Darlene, Darlene said some men love to chase. Oh, yeah. We we love to chase. That's the whole reason we, we love y'all in the first place. We go after y'all in the first place. The harder we have to chase after y'all, the more we appreciate it. I don't know about all that. I, I ain't really know about I, I, trying to cheat, not chase somebody. Well, chase. I feel like well, when, when, when right. I mean, when I mean chase, I mean, I mean, stay that, stay that attractive person with that same energy. Stay that person that's compelling that person to be with you. That's no, what I, I mean I by chase. Meant like just trying to work, like, run no, 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 no. Don't run after them. No, no, no. Not run after them. I mean, remain chaseable. Like when y'all, y'all agree to be exclusive, right? 
Right. And then remain that same person you yeah. was before you got in that relationship. Yeah, Cause a lot of times they talk about us being complacent and us, you know, losing. We do. A lot of times we lose. We lose that, that mysterious thing. air about ourselves. We have that mysterious air where we will will pop up. We'll do certain stuff. We'll be nice with certain stuff. We'll come with gifts, but. A lot of guys stop that after they get the girl. They're like, oh, I got the girl, so I ain't got to really put no effort into it. My, it, it they think they think the D game is that good. They don't got to do nothing I mean, else. But ain't even something like that. It's just you always got to be consistent, you know. And, uh, and like I said, I'm guilty of that. Uh, but you always I'm, gotta, guil- I'm, I'm also guilty of not re- keeping my mysterious air. Because yeah. I, I, I get complacent sometimes and think, hey, I got this person. I ain't got to do nothing else. I've done that before. I've done that before. I've been the person that's been like, I think this D game's on, 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 on smash, and I, I think I got her. But don't don't ever think you have somebody on lock. It's always somebody with a spare key. Amen. Never think you have somebody on lock. It's always somebody waiting with a spare key. And just like, just like as far as like, just like the draft, NFL draft, I know maybe people they may not watch football, but there's always somebody coming out, always somebody new in the scene, and uh, you always got to keep trying to better yourself. Definitely, definitely. And that's what I mean by staying chaseable, chaseable ladies. Better yourself. Stay stay with that same charismatic energy that you had when you first met that man. And men, you keep that same mysterious air. You keep her You keep her guessing. Keep her Keep her guessing. Keep her, oh, they did this, they did that. You got you to gotta stay that guy. You gotta see that guy. And then the thing about it too, you still don't want her going to a girlfriend like that, you know? Your man doing this, your man doing that, he ain't being a uh, romantic, my dear. Well, first of all, a relationship is two people. Your ship, you got two oars. Nobody else is supposed to be rowing your boat. Relationship, in, in, in the last part of that is a ship or a canoe. That's why I think of, of a relationship. It's a canoe. You got two oars on two sides. If I'm just paddling in the relationship, we're only going to go around in a circle. We both paddling, we can go straight. Does that make sense? We both got to paddle at the same time so we can go where we need to go and direct this relationship where it needs to go. But if, I'm, if you're the only one paddling, you're in a relationship by yourself. You're going full circle. If you've ever been on a boat and paddle with a boat, you'll go around full circle with one oar. And that's the thing, though. You never want to have someone to feel sink with their relationship. That's man or female, you know? <clears throat> Facts, facts. You know, you always want to... And remember, sex without love is no purpose. It's just sex. Sex without love is no purpose. What do you, you, you just gave your body to somebody. Okay. Good night. Sex without love, there's no purpose. I'm very sad. I like that. Thank you. But yeah, though, I'm going to wrap it up pretty soon. I uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in. Does anybody have any questions, any comments? Any questions, comments, let me know. And, uh, we are in the hot seat right now. Ask anything within respect. Yeah, let's let us know real quick. Uh, go in on, you know, ask us some questions. We'll answer them live and over here for y'all. If you don't catch me here, you'll probably catch me, catch me with Jonathan tonight, y'all. I'll be, I, I be in the audience somewhere. Yeah, like I said, I got another show tonight at 10, so y'all, y'all going to tune in. Keisha said, like this topic, I'll catch y'all on the next live. JC, bring this king back. I enjoy. Thank you. Thank you, Queen. Thank you. And say you love black black love. I I love black love. I love black people, and I love black relationships. black community. Let's keep it like this, y'all. When we replace the I with a we, even illness becomes wellness. Just remember that. All right, all right. Amy said, "Next to a video on why women do lie to men about is he the real dad when he got none." Oh, that's because they be they be wanting to pick the right. No, fathers. hold on, hold on. We can't, oh, we can't spoil it. We'll, we'll we'll get on that. We'll get oh, on yeah. that. Like I said, we'll probably do uh, DNA testing, the pros and cons of it. So I definitely will. But like I said, like I said, yeah, y'all y'all drop some more questions for me and uh, Terrence or anybody to come on. Make sure y'all give me some questions so I can debate, discuss. Other than that, I appreciate everybody for tuning in. You have a blessed day. One. That's the victory sign, by the way. Not peace, it's victory.